I'm Garrett Ryan. And this is the short answer. Today's question is, did the ancient Greeks ever climb Mount Olympus? The following is a modified excerpt from my book, Naked Statues, Fat Gladiators, and War Elephants, Frequently Asked Questions About the Ancient Greeks and Romans. At nearly 10,000 feet, or 3,000 meters, Olympus is the tallest mountain in Greece. Its many summits are often shrouded with clouds, leaving only the hazy outlines of long ridges and looming cliffs visible from below. Did the ancient Greeks really think that their gods lived on this misty peak? And if they did, did they ever attempt to confirm that belief by climbing to the top? The answer to the first question is less straightforward than you might think. The Greeks had a complex relationship with their myths, doubting them, disputing their details, and dutifully referencing them anyway in art and literature. The idea that the gods lived on Mount Olympus was no exception. In some myths, Olympus is described straightforwardly as a mountain. Bellerophon tries to fly Pegasus to the top, and the giants Otis and Ephialtes heap lesser mountains against the flanks of Olympus to reach the palaces of the gods. But even in the Iliad, at the very beginnings of Greek literature, Olympus is sometimes described as a physical peak, and sometimes used as a synonym for the sky. This dual conception reflected tensions between the traditional literary image of Olympus and wide-ranging speculation about the true nature and home of the gods. Educated Greeks tended to assume that the gods were everywhere, nowhere, or very far away. Adherents of Plato's Academy thought that the gods lived among the stars. The Stoics imagined the principle of divinity to be inherent in all things. Epicureans believed that the gods lived apart from the material universe, or denied their existence entirely. Although we know much less about non-elite ideas, we have no reason to assume that most Greeks, or any Greeks, thought that the gods were physically present on Olympus. This does not mean, however, that the Greeks regarded Olympus as just another mountain, or that they never climbed it. In 1961, a sanctuary of Zeus was discovered on one of the peaks of Olympus. Here, for nearly a millennium, worshippers sacrificed to the gods only a short hike from the highest summit. We don't know whether anyone made that hike, but even from the altar, it would have been clear that there were no celestial palaces or sunbathing deities anywhere on the mountaintop. Perhaps more significant than the fact that the Greeks climbed Olympus is the fact that they made the climb for the purpose of offering sacrifice. An ancient description of the altar atop Olympus emphasizes the otherworldliness of the setting. Wind and rain, we are told, never touched it. In the Greek imagination, the gods may not have been physically present on Olympus, but nor were they so very far away. For the full answer, and for many other intriguing details about the ancient Greeks and Romans, Check out Naked Statues, Fat Gladiators, and War Elephants. Available wherever books are sold. Thanks for watching.